Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. Uh, normally, I go live on Saturday, but to this weekend, it's Sunday. Happy Sunday, everyone. Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. Welcome to my craft room. I hope you're doing well tonight. It is very cold and chilly here in Minnesota. I got my puffy vest on. <laughs> Minus one right now, I believe. I'm um, sure it's colder in other places as well. So good evening, everyone. So well, so good to see you. Um, I had pre-recorded <laughs> this video to go live last night or so, I thought, or to, to go at our normal time last night. Uh, my husband and I were at a, a concert at First Avenue in downtown Minneapolis. And um, yeah, messed it up. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to delete that. And I'd much rather hang out with you in person. So thanks for being here tonight. We're going to make a fun fold card. Um, I just about an hour ago, I uploaded a, a different video um, that had to do with owls. And I'm afraid I might have confused some of you. I'm so sorry about that. Um, that uh, video needed to be corrected. It had some incorrect measurements in it. Um, shout out, by the way, to my uh, moderator, Jennifer Walsh. Hey, Jennifer. I did that last video and Jennifer was not able to join us and I totally messed up the measurement. So I, you're my right arm, Jennifer. I appreciate you being here, <laughs> guiding me through. Um, so I edited the video and re-uploaded the corrective version because it's going to be going with a project sheet that uh, will go along with that in the next project sheet email. You can sign up for the project sheet emails here. Um, it's coming soon, um, taking a little longer than I anticipated, but it is coming. So um, should be seeing it let's say tomorrow, by Tuesday for sure. Okay, that's the goal. So uh, it's in process, it has been started. So that's a good thing. Um, if you like free uh, inspiration, um, I would recommend the project sheets. Um, and uh, hopefully they'll help you uh, take your card making to uh, a different place, maybe um, spice it up a little bit, right? Uh, okay, let me go here. If um, uh, if you have a question tonight while I'm crafting and I miss your uh, question, feel free to tag Jennifer in the comments with the uh, at symbol and um, she'll try and flag me down so that I see your comments. I get I get all into crafting and I forget to look at the comments. So, uh, so thanks for being here, everyone. Um, we're going to do a fun fold card. Uh, so I had um, the last video, I shared some swap cards that I had received from the Stamp Share for Leaders swap. And I had pulled out in particular several fun fold cards uh, to share with you. And a lot of you wanted me to re wanted to recreate those together um, to see how they were made. So we're going to do that tonight. I asked my Sue Stampfield Facebook group to vote. <laughs> I narrowed it down to three just for starters and uh, had them pick. And the votes were, oh my gosh, hotly contested. I cut off voting at noon yesterday so I can make the card and two were tied. So I had to go to my son and say, okay, pick pick either number one or number three. <laughs> so that was the deciding factor on what our fun fold is tonight. We'll be doing, uh, I'll show you all four though, and we'll be doing them in, in upcoming videos. So don't worry if, if yours didn't get picked. It's all good, right? We'll get there. We will get there. There's so many fun ideas. Now, I don't know about you. Maybe you're like me. I have a messy craft area. I start crafting and things get buried and covered up and I lose them. And so when we find it again, we say found it and we all take a sip of our beverage. So it's just a little game here we play here at Sue Stampfield. Let me know what's in your cup tonight. I am drinking um, uh, San, uh, San Pellegrino uh, ginger beer, non-alcoholic sadly no not alcoholic ginger beer it's really yummy uh and uh that's what's in my cup tonight i felt like i needed to be a little fancy tonight and instead of my usual ice water which is also very yummy all right so we're gonna go ahead zero gatorade woohoo uh, that's your go-to right susan um we're gonna go ahead and uh get this party started so i'm gonna switch to the desktop camera here there we go i think we're a little bit crooked. What the? What the? All right, let's just straighten up and fly right here. All right, that's a little bit straighter. Okay, I think we're good. So we're going to make a card tonight. First, let me show you the four that uh, the four cards that they voted on. No, three cards that they voted on. So the there was this one. You guys recall this motorcycle card? Super fun um, uh, pop up card that stands up. Well, normally stands up. This was by my uh, Stamp Field Stars team member Colette Diesenvitz. 
And uh, this one was by Sandy Stellenberg, a fun bridge fold card. So that was number two. And then number three was this one right here by a uh, Stamfield Stars team member, uh, uh, Michelle Carlson. I, my Stamfield Stars people are so creative, you guys. Uh, these are all leaders and they were part of this swap. And uh, Michelle's card has a latch. It's a latch and gatefold. So a gatefold just means that any card that has two panels that open up, kind of like cupboard doors or like a gate, um, is called a gatefold card. And then this one has a little closure here. I bent mine all the heck, but um, it slips under the greeting and it holds that flap closed. So we're going to recreate this this card tonight. This was the the first up in our uh, in our fun exploration of fun folds. The other one we're going to be doing um, was this one by uh, Stamfield Stars team member Carol Rosengren. This one is an easel card. It stands up like that. Super fun. Um, so we'll, we'll get to this one too. I, these love cats are so adorable. So, so cute. Um, if you, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's, let's keep going here. All right. So <laughs> we're going to do this type of fun fold tonight, but we're going to do it with some owls. So what I started to say on the love cats um, is if, you know, this is on your wish list. Um, if you're shopping, you might want to get to that $50 level um, in my online Stampin' Up! store. And then you get a free thing for celebration. So the owl, adorable owls are a free stamp set. Uh, if you place a $50 before tax and shipping here in the U.S., you qualify for uh, a freebie. Woohoo! Um, celebration goes through the end of February, but everything is while supplies last. So keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and do some measuring. Uh, okay. all my bits and pieces here. Here's my cheat sheet. So Jennifer is going to be popping up um, as we go here. She's going to pop these dimensions into the comments. And uh, I also at the end, we're going to try something new tonight. At the very end of the video, I've typed up a banner that has all of the, um, all of the dimensions on it. So I'll be sharing all of them at the end. So if you miss any, no worries, just hang around to the end and I'll have them all on the screen. So we're going to start with our, what am I starting with? All right, let's, let's talk about this. I'm jumping ahead. I'm all over the place here. All right. So this is the card base. Now I'm using a sweet sorbet for mine. Michelle used a thick basic white for hers and she had decorated with a little designer paper. I'm just going to go with the sweet sorbet. So that is your basic five and a half by four and a quarter. If you're a US, US cardstock size. And then we're going to do this gatefold part. So the gatefold part is, I need to look at my notes here, make sure I tell you correctly, it is four and a quarter by eight. And we're going to score this at two and at six. All right. So I've got it in my simply scoring tool here, and I'm just going to score my four and a quarter by eight piece at two and at six. Okay. So you can see those are, well, you probably can't see there. If I tilt it just like that, now you can make out the score lines. All right. So let's put this aside and we're going to go ahead and crease on those two scores. We're folding in. This is going to be our gate. So here's one half of our gate and here's the other half. And I just thought this card was so clever. Uh, Michelle said she thinks she got the idea from uh, brand demonstrator Brandy Cox. So shout out to Brandy. So there is this gatefold piece. Okay. And that is going to adhere to our card base. So I'm going to go ahead and just crease this a little bit more. I want it to lay just a little bit flatter than it is. Getting thirsty. I need to lose some. <laughs> On that note, oh, no, I found it. My adhesive was where it belonged. That's the last place I look. Well, that's okay. That counts. Let's let's take a sip. I'm going to try my ginger beer here. Mm. Mm. So good. Uh, Jennifer has our dimensions here. Let me pop those up. So that was this piece and the score marks for that. I'm going to leave that up just for a moment while I go ahead and adhere this to my card. Now, I actually, I'm going to take that down because we need to talk about 
are adhering there. Hopefully you got that. But again, I'm going to have everything at the end. So no, no, no worries if you didn't. So I'm going to put a piece of seal at the top and a piece of seal at the bottom. This card is going to have this latch piece coming in at the side. It'll be on the right side here. So I'm going to put a, a strip of adhesive. Let me move up so you can see on the left side, but on the right side, I want to leave room to, to slide that in. So I'm going to put the adhesive way over almost to the middle, just so I've got plenty of room to slide that in, but still plenty of stickiness to hold my card down. Okay. So I'm going to put this right here and I'm going to just measure it, uh, center it in the middle. There we go. Right, like so. Okay. Oh, it was from a Creative 8. So if you go to Brandy's channel and check into the Creative 8, um, you should find uh, her version of this card, which I don't know what that looks like. So, all right. So we've got that all ready with that gatefold opening up here. And now we're going to grab our designer series paper. So... Let me bring in those pieces. I've actually got four pieces. I like how Michelle decorated not only the front panels of her card, she decorated the inside panels as well, which really makes it super attractive. I like that. So we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to put just different design. Well, actually, it's the same designer paper, just different patterns. This is the Country Lane Floral Designer Series paper. And I'm going to put these little red hearts on the front. And on the inside, I'm going to put some of the country gingham paper. So these are all sweet sorbet. So they go with our uh, the cardstock that I chose. And these pieces measure four and one eighth inch by one and seven eighths inch. And there are four of them. So one more time, it's four and an eighth by one and seven eighths. And it's a very skinny border. It's just a 16th of an inch border. So I'm just being extra careful. Now, if you don't like that narrow of a border, you could change your uh, designer paper so that it's um, in quarter inch increments. It would just have a bigger white border. But I did like that super narrow white border. So I did go with the one and seven eighths by four and an eighth inch size. All right, there we go, just like that. And now we're going to open up and we're gonna stick these two panels on the inside. So this is what we refer to as a fun fold card. Fun fold cards are typically anything that, oh, that, that is other than a piece of cardstock folded in half, cut in half and folded in half, which is your standard um, fold. A fun fold is anything that differs from that uh, very basic fold. So let's go ahead and stick this one on. Jennifer, do you want to pop? Oh, there she is. She's way ahead of me, as usual. Uh, so we've got four that are one. Uh, actually, Jennifer, they're uh, one and seven eighths by four and an eighth. So one and seven eighths by four and an eighth. And I'm going to put this one on the inside. And it's just going to dress up the inside of our card and make it extra, extra cute. <laughs> now, um, if you like fun folds, um, just want to shake up your card making with fun folds, I do offer a uh, monthly class. And there is a tutorial bundle that just became available. It's on my website. And it's for these cards, which cards, which are fun fold cards. I call this one, uh, my, my team members helped me design this, or name it, I guess I should say, um, the horizontal curtain call card, because it stands like a stage. And most of the cards uh, then have the curtain opens up and you can see the inside message. So it's meant to stand for display and then it accordion folds down to fit in a standard envelope. Um, this one is actually a double curtain call fold. So um, you can open up the first curtain and you see the pattern underneath and then you're greeting on the inside. So that one I'm calling a double curtain call fold. So the tutorial bundle for this one is on my blog. You can watch the video and I walk you through how to make this version right here. 
and you can buy the step-by-step uh, -step tutorial bundle if you want to learn how to make all of the uh, all of the cards here, including that double one. So these are the ones that are in the tutorial bundle, and that is available on my blog, SueStampfield.com. Let's go back to this one right here. There are the sizes for those designer series papers panels. Thank you so much, Jennifer. I think it's time to do some coloring. <laughs> so ahead of time, I stamped this adorable little owl uh, from the Adorable Owls stamp set. And I'm going to color this. Um, I have thought, um, I've lost my grid paper. So I'm going to get a new one out here out of the pack. This is the grid paper, the small grid paper that we sell in the catalog. I love the small size because it my desk is messy and so I need a small piece that will fit in um, and that is in the uh, catalog so so I've got my little owl here I think for this one I'm going to zoom up a little bit um, we're going to do some coloring and I know some of you may not be big fans of coloring and uh, may not want to invest in a lot of products but I'm going to give you some tips on coloring the owl I'm going to use Stampin' Blends. That is my favorite way to color. And the reason for that is these alcohol markers don't leave any streak marks. Um, they make me feel like an artist because I can just keep adding layers and layers and layers of color without any streaks. And it just looks better and better and better. And if I make a boo-boo, <laughs> there's a color lifter that is an eraser. And it will erase those. It will lift up that color if I go outside the lines. So this is a two pack and it comes with the bronze and the ivory marker. And these two markers are a great way to cover, to color your owl. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with the ivory and I'm going to color the face of the owl and the tummy with this lighter color. And then I'm going to go in with the bronze and get the feathers all uh uh, colored. So let's go ahead and get that color. Now I do love to color. Um, there are other color mediums in our catalog. If you prefer um, the watercolor pencils, those are a great, uh, another great coloring tool. You can also just use regular markers or you can watercolor it by using the uh, ink refills. Totally your choice. This one is my personal favorite. And if you wanted this darker, you would just layer all that color over again. Um, if you had any uh, lines or shading, you can uh, do the same thing. If it was too dark, you can go in and lift the color by using the color lifter and lighten it up. Now, if you are not a big fan of coloring, but you like these owls, and that is keeping you from getting the owls, <laughs> don't let it, because uh, this is one that I did where the owl's basically white. I just colored the beak, the feet, the bow tie, and the eyes. And if you did the flying owl, you could have it all white and just color the eyes and the beak and the feet. So, <laughs> so there's options, right? There's options. So... By the way, this is the one uh, that is uh, the, the project sheet I'm working on right now is for this accordion fun fold card. All right. And our, our card is going to kind of look similar to that second one on the front because I had some people asking me how I color the owls. And I thought, well, this would be a great way to show you. I forgot something. So I'm going to grab my um, ivory marker back. This time, though, I'm going to use the fine tip. So on the outside barrel of the marker, there's the picture of the wide tip and the picture of the fine uh, tip. There's also a wide line at the wide end and a skinny line at the skinny end. So depending on your visual preference, you can either... I just got the marker on me. It's okay. It's kind of a matches my skin tone, so no big deal. I'm just going to color the inside of the ears there. I forgot that bit. And now we're going to go to the bronze marker. And I'm going to actually start with the skinny tip on this one. Maybe I am. All right. And I'm just going to start at the tips of the wings. Those are the skinniest bits. So I want to do those with my skinny end. I might as well get the ears too. Those are pretty tiny. And I can go in with the brush tip and get all the rest of it, right? 
but I also might as well do the eyes here. I love the eyes on this owl. I love how they were drawn and that big, uh, those big eyes. I have two dogs. Um, they are whippets. Whippets are similar to greyhounds. They're very skinny, don't have a lot of fair, hair. They run very fast and they have huge big brown eyes that they use shamelessly to get anything they want. <laughs> and that's exactly what these eyes remind me of is uh, Winston and Mercy asking for something. All right, let me use the, uh, let me speed things up here by flipping over to the, the wider brush tip on this. And just fill that in. All right. Almost got this. So uh, as I mentioned, this is a free celebration choice. There are a lot of other choices as well. So you just go to the online store, you place your $50 order, um, or if you hit 50 or higher, then it will tell you how many celebration things you earn. You get a free thing at every 50. And there's a few items that are redeemable at the $100 level. And we almost have this colored. There we go. All right. So next up is the Beacon Feet. I am going to use uh, one half of a combo pack. The combo is the uh, pumpkin pie combo. Comes in light and dark. And I'm just going to quickly color in our feet. Now, if you prefer a brighter, um, darker orange, you can use the dark pumpkin pie instead of the light. Totally your personal preference. And then the last little bit is the bow tie. I'm going to use the uh, light sweet sorbet for the bow tie. It matches my paper, <laughs> so I'm all matchy matchy. I'm kind of going with a Valentine theme here. Now there's also an owl with a birthday party hat on. Um, there's just an owl flying that, uh, you know, they could use for really any event. It does not have to be Valentine's Day. That's just on my mind right now. So... I have really bad eyesight, so I had to look at that. I had to take off my glasses and hold it up really close to see what I missed. Okay. I think that's I think that's good with my horrible vision. It looks okay. So I'm going to go ahead and so I love the colors of that owl too, Stacy. Um that the that single combo pack of the ivory and bronze is perfect. Perfect owl colors. All right, so we've got our owl. This piece that the owl is on is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Um, and I'm gonna layer it on a piece of sweet sorbet. Now this, uh, this piece for your card can vary. Um, it depends on your focal point for your card. You can see Michelle's was a little bit bigger because she had this heart, which is a wider piece. So it was three by I think three and a quarter. Um, to totally personal preference and really it needs to match whatever your focal point is. For me, this, this size was perfect, two and three quarters by two and three quarters with that three inch layer. You also could die cut um, this out like I did on these cards when I used the stylus shapes dies. Um, that would be really cute on this card as well, uh, which reminds me, I do need to tell you if you have a lot of things on your wish list, uh, you might want to consider the starter kit special. It's amazing. This is the best special I've ever seen. If you purchase the uh, demonstrator starter kit, uh, it's $99 and you get $175 in product of your choice, or you can upgrade it to and spend $129. And they also add in this cute little boho blue mini die cut machine. And that is what I use to die cut all of the dies on this uh, particular card. All right, so we're going to stick these two together. Okay, I'm gonna have to shed the vest. I'm I'm warming up here under the the filming <laughs> the studio lights, <laughs> and I'm warming up by crafting. So whew, I'm gonna ditch that uh, ditch that vest for now. My puffy vest is now no longer an, an object. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and attach this. Um, I did mine exactly as Michelle did, and I just uh, adhered it flat to the card. Now. Typically, when we stick something on our card, we put adhesive all over it. We do not want to do that. If we put adhesive all over this, we're going to glue our card shut and we no longer have a gatefold card. 
So I'm just going to put adhesive on one edge, okay? And I'm just going to center it in the middle of the card, right there. Okay, and that pops up like that. All right, so you can see how if I didn't have that latch, um, the card uh, kind of pops open, not a big deal, but the latch is just a clever way to keep it flat. Um, it does stand for display, which is awesome. So we're going to bring in these two pieces and these two pieces, one is for our greeting and one is for our latch. So let's talk about the latch piece first. This latch piece is two and a half. Here's my cheat sheet. <laughs> uh, it's one and a half inches by two and a half inches. And I scored it at two. So let me show you where that, what that looked like. So it's two and a half inches. And I scored it right here at two. I already did it because I was afraid I'd mi mix these two pieces up because they're very similar in size. But that scored bit, I'm going to fold on. And this is the piece that's going to tuck back here and uh, be our latching piece. Okay, right like so. So I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive right on here. I could use, I don't know if I could slide a glue dot in there. Probably not. So I'm going to just put some seal on there. And I'm going to slide that in. Now, I am not sure how Brandy did this. And I don't know how uh, Michelle did it. This is what worked for me. So uh, there, there may be other ways to do it. But uh, I'm not a big fan of making a pencil mark or anything like that. So I just... Uh, left that uh, this side without adhesive so that I could tuck it in here. All right. So there's my little latch piece. Now I'm going to put our greeting on. Okay. So, and it's going to tuck under that greeting. So let's grab. Um, <laughs> all right. So where did you do it? Where did you leave it? Okay. Um, I am looking for a stamp on this messy desk that says, just wanted to say. So I'm going to use the Country Bouquet stamp set in addition to our adorable owls here. So ah, I see it. Just wanted to say. Woohoo! Found it. Take a sip, everyone. Take a sip. Ah, okay. Good stuff. All right. So I'm going to open up the Sweet Sorbet pad here. And I'm going to ink up my, my stamp that says, just wanted to say dot, dot, dot. And I'm going to stamp it on this piece. You know what? I get rid of that. I can see where I'm going better if I have a dark background. All right. So I'm going to stamp it right here. There we go. And then I'm going to use a punch to make uh, this. You know what? I'm going to, it's a little scary. I'm going to leave my ink pad open. <clears throat> So don't let me put anything important in there. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to grab a punch. Uh, this is the triple banner punch. And I'm going to slide this piece all the way in here. Uh, now, if you don't have a punch like this, you can just freehand cut. Um, that works too. I like to flip this around and make sure that I am lined up and straight. And then I'm going to punch that off. And this just gives me that little point. Oh, look, it's crooked. All right, let's see if I can. Mm. All right, I'm going to fix it with scissors. <laughs> I don't think I can get it back in the punch. It's not very crooked, just a tiny bit. Okay, my, I'm happier with that. That looks a little bit straighter. Almost. Okay, there we go. So you can see how easy it is to just cut that. All right, so now this is going to go right here, and that piece is going to tuck under. So I want to put some dimensionals behind it, but I don't want them to show. So I'm actually going to put the dimensionals on here so that I um, don't inadvertently tack down my little latch. I hope that makes sense. And I think the uh, big ones will just fit. So let's put that down. I'm going to put one right here and one right here. And I'll peel off those backings. So let me just show you what that looks like. So I'm making sure it's not interfering with that. Pull the backings off there. And we're just going to take this piece and stick it right on here. There we go. And now we pull that latch 
and our card opens, <gasps> but our card is blank. Well, that's not going to work. <laughs> All right. I need you to help me figure out what's going to go on the inside of our card. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. It's the banners pick a punch on page 152 of the annual catalog. Excellent. And I forgot to put up the latch pieces. So Jennifer's got our latch pieces there. So we have some options for the inside. We can say, just wanted to say, um, I love that we are friends and we'd add some little hearts or we can say hoot hoot you're so cute happy valentine's day so let me know if we're going to do hoot or if we're going to do friends let me know in the comments which way we're going here and while you decide that i'm going to go ahead and uh merle the uh, dimensions for this card are going to be uh, on the screen at the end of the video here. I've got it all typed up so that I can share the whole thing and you can take a, um, <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of hoot hoots. There's a few friends there. So friends, friends, hoot, 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 friends, hoot, hoot. <laughs> all right. We're going to go with, uh, we're going to go with the hoot hoot, you're so cute right here and the happy Valentine's Day. So we're going to ink that up and sweet sorbet. This greeting, of course, comes right in the owls. I have to pull this down so it's a little bit closer to me so that I get it more than likely straight-ish. And then I'm going to grab the happy Valentine's Day, which is also from the Country Bouquet stamp set. And then let me know in the comments if you would like me to do a project sheet for this one in a future email. So hoot hoot, you're so cute. Happy Valentine's Day. And then we just pop our latch piece right behind. Now I should tell you um, for the latch piece and for the banner piece, I happen to have some scraps of thick basic white on my desk. And I actually think that's a really good choice for the latch. It's a little bit stiffer. Um, than the regular basic white. And it seems like it's holding flatter um, than my other one. <gasps> We're going to add a ribbon. This is my practice one. Um, so I do like the, the little extra um, hold I'm getting with that one right there. So um, we're going to go zoom out just a little bit. We're going to add a ribbon. Uh, this ribbon is part of the Country Floral Lane Suite, which is where this designer paper came from, from the Stampin' Up! mini catalog. I'm going to close my ink pad before I get in trouble <laughs> and put something in there that doesn't belong. And this is a two pack, so it comes with a really pretty red that's kind of satiny, which would also be cute on this card. But I really like this craft one with the uh, the brown owl. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to take a piece. I'm going to just tie a knot in the middle of that piece. And then grab a pair of scissors here. Use my ribbon scissors and trim that down. Okay. So that's going to go right across the top. And let's stick that on and I will pull up all of the dimensions so that you can take a screenshot and I'll leave the piece on the table so that I'm not wiggling anything. Grab this. These are my glue dots. I keep a little leash on my glue dots, a ribbon to keep it from unraveling or getting uh, carried away. <laughs> Whoops. I take the cover off Sue. That's my uh, take your pick tool is really handy for sticking on embellishments and glue dots and thing of things of those sort. I feel like this isn't the my tails aren't quite even here. We need to do a little trimmage. Just a snip snip right here on the end. Okay, there we go. Oh goodness, Susan. Like a four-year-old cut that. So uh, I think my my uh, Sunday school students could have cut that better. <laughs> I know they could have than I did today. And they're kindergarten through second. So but they're crafty kids, let me tell you. All right. There we go. 
Yeah. All right. Now I got it all evened up. Okay. Uh, now I'm happy. <laughs> all right. I'm going to pull on the dimensions here and leave them up so that you can take a screenshot. There are all of the dimensions. So I call this the latching gatefold card. I don't know if there's a official name or not, but I'm calling it the latching gatefold card. And so our card base was four and a quarter by five and a half. The gatefold portion, four and a quarter by eight, scored at two and six. And our designer series paper panels, remember we had four of them, two on the outside, two on the inside, and they're one and seven eighths. Oh, I see my error. Jennifer, you were going off the information that I gave you. Oh, Susan. All right. Hang on. I can fix it. <laughs> no wonder it was wrong. Oh, my goodness. All right. All right. Let's see if I fixed it. Does that look better, guys? There we go. Four at one and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. <gasps> Good thing I'm reviewing this. And then the latch piece is a half inch by two and a half inches, scored at two. And the greeting piece is a half inch by two and three quarters. All right. So let's see how it opens again. We're going to lift our latch. <gasps> Open the gate. Hoot hoot. You're so cute. Happy Valentine Day. Oh, look, we have a complimentary dog hair on the inside. That Welcome to my world. <laughs> And that is our fun fold card tonight. Thank you everyone so much for hanging out with us this evening. Uh, quick reminder, the project sheet email, honest to goodness, will be going out very, very soon. So uh, you can subscribe for that here. Let me, I'm going to hide this to give you one, two, three to take another screenshot. There we go. Uh, the project sheets are uh, just a little easier way to, where are they? They're there. There we go. Free project sheet, SueStampfield.com. Click on subscribe. And let me go back over to the comments and see. I only said found it three times. Wow, that's that's pretty good for me. You think navy would have set it off as a base? Yeah, you. Um, I'm, I love navy and white as one of my favorite combos. You could do this with any stamps, any, you know, so many different options, right? Um, let's look at Michelle's card one more time here. Um, there are two versions and there would just be an infinite number of possibilities, right? Um, I'm going to flip my camera so I can say goodbye. Thanks so much, Jennifer Walsh, for helping me out tonight. <laughs> I still got in trouble with measurements, even with you there to help me. So, so sorry about that. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me this evening, everyone. Have a great night and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.